when I think about Hogan going against Ultimate Warrior, pardon the fun, but it was the two ultimate fan favorites at the time. They've been cheering for the Hulkster. They've been cheering for the Warrior. The crowd was so split. You know, I, I was there, and it was 50-50. And, and up until that point, that hadn't happened. What a confrontation! The ultimate challenge is indeed just that. Being there and feeling that energy that uh, both of those guys brought to that match and, and we were able to channel out to the crowd, it was uh, it was awesome. I have so many people say my favorite match was you against the Ultimate Warrior out of all the WrestleManias. I hear that every single day. Look out, the big splash, one, two, and get out of We have a new World Wrestling Federation champion, the Ultimate Warrior. To this day, I think if you played the music and he would have run down, shake the ropes and just leave, I think everybody would be like, ah! and wouldn't know what to do. The energy that he created, it was like infectious. It's like, holy cow, like you were looking at a living superhero. He left a huge impression on the WWE Universe. So many flashbacks of uh, painting my face like Ultimate Warrior, putting streamers around my arms, running around driving my mother nuts. I think his intensity, his energy, his look, the ring entrance, all gave him that unique quality that made people really connect with him. For this, I live and breathe, bow to the power of the ultimate warrior. And now, to induct the ultimate warrior, please welcome the former CEO of WWE, Linda McMahon. Hasn't this been a fantastic evening? When Warrior called and asked if I would induct him tonight, I told him that I was highly flattered and I'd be honored to do so. I also told him that this is absolutely my favorite WWE event because we get to honor past legends of our wonderful industry and hopefully continue to inspire those superstars who themselves may be eventually inductees. Now, Warrior is a motivational speaker, and I have no doubt that he will inspire some of you tonight in his own inimitable fashion. <laughs> he is truly, he is truly a unique individual. And I think it says something that a person so absolutely believed in living the lifestyle of Warrior, that he not only adopted that name for his character, but he also legally changed his name to Warrior. Not, not Warrior Helwig, not Jim Warrior, but Warrior, because he believed in the principles of living a Warrior lifestyle. Now, the WWE superstar Ultimate Warrior was by design an aggressive and intimidating character. But I have to tell you, it always brought a smile to my face when his music would hit and he would explode out of that backstage area, charge down that ramp towards the ring, and God forbid anybody be in his way. His hair flying, his iridescent painted mask on his face just glowing, not just from the paint, but from the sweat glistening on his face, his cheeks puffing in and out, like a locomotive coming down to that ring. Now picture that charge. He broke the land speed record from the top of that ramp down to the ring. But when he got to the ring, instead of turbo charging in, he ran around the ring two or three times. I honestly believe it's because he could not stop. And he had to have he had to have a method to downshift before he got in the ring. Then he'd jump in the ring, grab those ropes, pop them up and down so hard, the entire ring would vibrate until the turnbuckles begged for mercy. 
He is truly an inspirational character. But you know, Warrior by and large was a loner in the locker room and on the road. He was so committed to his own personal principles, passionate about his performance, and an absolute perfectionist for all things warrior. And truthfully, he wasn't always the easiest guy to be around. And he wasn't always the easiest guy to convince that his way wasn't always the right way or that his idea wasn't always the right idea. When Warrior came back to WWE for his last tenure, he asked that I be his direct personal contact because I understood his passion. I understood his philosophy of life, of personal responsibility, and always believing in yourself. But, but I have to tell you, there were a couple of times when Warrior would be overwrought. His frustration level would build to the point of boiling. Then he'd call me. And you know, Warrior, if you do know him, when he's passionately advocating for something he believes, he doesn't have a soft, conciliatory voice. And I have to admit, a couple of times I took the phone and I put it on speakerphone, I turned the volume down. I could still hear him. And I was paying attention, but I put my end on mute, get a little work done, while he just continued to <laughs> vent through his frustration. But that's really all he needed. He just needed time to vent, get it off his chest, and then we'd have a terrific conversation. I have to tell you one side story, though. During one of these rants, he called me mom. He said, hey, mom. And I said, warrior, I have to tell you, you are behaving like a petulant child. And if I had you here, I would turn you across my knee. And that made him laugh. Made me laugh, too. Warrior has never been afraid and certainly not reluctant to voice his opinion or to challenge the status quo. He has no tolerance for whiners, but he'll always extend a helping hand. He has time to listen and to coach, but he doesn't have time to suffer excuses. He is a devoted, that's right, he's a devoted husband and father and a patriot. He is a true WWE icon and legend. He is a man who said, if your first thought of the day is, I can't, then you can be sure that you won't. Ladies and gentlemen, accompanied to the ring by two young ladies who were so special in his life, his daughters, Maddie and Indy, may I present Warrior.